D, Coach Pittman, um, Coach Cole is kind of upstairs, so I think it's kind of tough to Jake the most, and um, Jake kind of trickles it down to the other offensive players, but we don't talk to Coach Cole during the game. How about during the week while the game plan is being put together? Yeah, we asked him like, what type of things he's thinking of doing and stuff. It looks good in practice, but you know, we're playing with another opponent in practice, so can't really get that type of look. How surprised were you that the best offensive line in the world uh, had their hands full with Carolina? I mean, it's football. Um, I'm not mad. I know they're going to bounce back, and uh, we'll be fine. What was the most frustrating part about it from an offensive perspective in the game the other day? It's not putting points on the board. I mean, the defense did another job you can have defense to do. But they had 10 points, I think, something like that. And with offensively, you can't score, you can't win. Where's the mood of this team right now? I think we're fine. We're going to be, um, we got to talk to the team today. Make sure we stay together, stay as a family. Um, everything we want to achieve is still ahead of us. You know the talent that you guys have when he talks about. I mean, how high of an achievement and offense should you guys be in your body? We should be one of the best teams in the country. So, 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 do you believe there's anything to be said for guys who know the talent level here, believe the talent level, and once they go on the field for the game, they just they just assume that's going to happen. It's supposed to be going out there. It starts with practice. Uh, you got to play well in practice very well. You know, to the guys uh, to the game. So guys that play well and are very talented in that way every day. Uh, some people said they didn't feel, they, didn't, they just felt Saturday wasn't, they didn't feel normal. Um, some people felt like we were doing pregame. I'm not sure what it was going on, but everybody was working on the same page there. Coach, you mentioned that the new start, you guys were kind of slow because of that. Do you think that had anything to do with it? I don't think that should never have anything to do with it. Um, as long as you're ready to play, and I can't speak for everybody else, um, everybody should be ready to play no matter what time the game is. Um, as a running back, was it, how hard was it to sort of deal with the rotating of offensive linemen? Does that really affect how you play and sort of approach the game? It doesn't affect how I play. I think it affects them. Because um, you practice with a group of guys every week, every, uh, every rep. So I think when, I don't like to say a change of pace, but uh, just some guys are more comfortable next to other guys. I, mean, I don't know, I'm not an offensive lineman, so I can't really speak. Yeah, and then, you know, you got a lot of, you know, four or five yard runs, but this year you guys haven't really been breaking off those longer, you know, 20, 25 yard yeah. runs. Is there, what do you think the reason for that? Is it just team, more teams loading the box? Or yeah, low? I think more teams loading the box, kind of take away their learning, make, uh, make Jake Fon beat us, and I think Jake's going to do that. DeAndre, you, you guys uh, haven't dealt with defeat very often. I just wonder, you, you guys had a lot of time Saturday. How did, how did you spend... Saturday night, kind of dealing with that, uh, uh, hanging out with family, doing whatever you can not to think about it. Are you able to put it out of your mind, or was it a brooding kind of night? I mean, you got to, you can't really dwell on it too long. You got a lot of football left, so um, everything ahead of us is everything we want ahead of us. Just no room for error. The first thing Coach Smart told us today was that he's had a lot of players come to him to make sure today is the right kind of practice. Um, first of all, were you one of those players, and what do you think the mood is going to be for this? For this practice, no, I was one of the players. Um, as a leader, you want to try to try to get this team on the right path going forward, just to let everybody know. Like I said, one loss doesn't define you. Um, nobody likes to lose, but we'll be fine. We will. You guys feel like that was an efficient running game Saturday? No, not at all. Okay. Um, didn't no explosive plays, no explosive runs. Really, um, it's a lot that goes into that. You had a lot of explosive runs, I guess, uh, against Kentucky last year, right? And at the game, you had a, had a couple highlight type plays. Uh, what are, what's been the issues of? Obviously, your numbers look good, but maybe you haven't had the, the big home run hit. Um, any, have you tried to think about that much? I mean, like PMs is like putting a lot of people in the box, so it's kind of hard to when you get past one level. It's three guys right there, and you're saying you can't really make too many people miss. Uh, you do it, we got to do a better job of blocking people. That's all. What's that conversation like in game when you see it develop? How do you react and tell the alignment, hey, we need to block better? Like if I see something uh, to where I could have went somewhere else, I try to just talk to the O line and try to get them to do a better job on the next series. And it starts with us as running backs, just being great with our vision and making sure we're getting downhill. So it's not on the offensive line, man. Uh, DeAndre, it seems like if you know, teams are stuffed in the box, that, that the explosive plays are going to be there one way or the other, yeah. passing game or run game. Well, what's kind of, if, if you could put your finger on it, what do you think is kind of a miss right now in, in, in that regard? Just, I think we need to take more shots downfield, um, try to get the ball out of our playmaker in space, um, whatever the coaches 
think that is, I think that might be, I think you do a better job at it. Play a little bit more smash mouth. I mean, do you, is there still a lot of conviction in your style, and do you have any envy of those teams that are running 80, 90 plays a game? No, not at all. I mean, we're not them, they're not us. So however we decide to go about the game plan and try to win the game, that's what we're going to do. Kirby seemed to challenge the offensive line a little bit after the game, saying they've got to go out and prove they're one of the best units in the country. Like, as running backs, what do you kind of say to those guys when things aren't working up for us? Keep their heads up. Um, tell them we love them. You got to play harder. Everybody do. Everybody on the team has got to look in the mirror. Just uh, do, do a better job of doing their job. And when it comes to strategy type things like the, the field goal, the end of regulation, two minute decisions for halftime, any kind of stuff like that, how much, if any, input do players have? And coach, like, just did the offensive coordinator Kirby ask you guys what you think or anything like that? No, not really. You've worked on breaking tackles, and it sounds so simple, but what is the thing that you can do to break more tackles? Yeah, it ain't simple. It's not simple at all. Um, run fast or run hard. Do you ever catch yourself trying to force it on cuts or anything? I mean, uh, I mean, it was definitely not going my way. Uh, the line's not doing as much of a job as we need to do. You're kind of, you're kind of trying to find yourself, just trying to make plays, and uh, got to stop doing that. And in goal line, you, you look like you hit that line at about 100 miles an hour. What was the, the mentality going into that one as opposed to maybe some of the other ones where you've been more patient? It was not, wasn't going to be denied, no matter who was going to be in front of me. It wasn't going to be denied. What are you seeing specifically on this uh, Kentucky defense? Last year they really had some they had some big time players. I know you had a good game. What are, what are you seeing on this defense? Solid defense. Play real hard. Um, real well coached. Try to not make too many mistakes. We got to, it's not. It's never about the defense. It's always about us. I think we going to do a better job of just getting the ball to playmakers. For those of us who, go ahead. Go ahead. For those of us who. <clears throat> and fans who watch and say, why are they still running the ball up the middle when it keeps getting stopped? What, what's the answer? Um, I'm not a coach, so I don't have an answer. What was going on on those plays? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs>